Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet the super cute strawberry baby overall dress. It's for baby girls between three and six months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger from zero to three months and up to three years old. Down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can easily make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. And as always, if you prefer written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop up here on the right hand side and in the information box below. Thank you so much for your support. Now in my channel I already have lots of tutorials of baby cardigans, baby bonnets and hats, diaper covers, and baby booties that you can make to match this little strawberry dress. I'll leave the links to those tutorials in the information box below. Now to make these little overalls this is the yarn that I used. This is Alice A. This is DK weight yarn but you can also use any number three yarn or a ply. You're going to need about 100 grams, 25 grams in pink, 15 grams in the light blue color and about 60 grams in the main color. You will need less or more depending on the size that you make. Okay, let's get started and thank you so much for watching. To make these little overalls, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. This is an E hook or size 5. Now, the yarn that I'm using is DK weight. You can also use number 3 or A ply. At the beginning of the video, I showed you the yarn that I'm using and I told you how much yarn we're going to need for the size that we're making here in this tutorial. Now, to begin, the first thing that we're going to do is the bib. I have a total of 21 chains. So, to begin into the third chain from the hook, one, two, three, into this third chain, I'm going to make a half double crochet. So, yarn over insert your hook and make a half double crochet. Now these half double crochets, I forgot to mention, we're going to be making them on the back of the chain. If you notice here along the back of the chain, there's this little bar right there. So that's where I'm going to be inserting my hook to make these half double crochets. Here's one into the next along the back of the chain there's that little bar that's right in the center. Insert your hook there and make a half double crochet. I'm doing this so that this part here, which is the top of the bib, um, it looks nicer. It's got a nicer finish. So we're going to do it like this. So one half double crochet on each one of these chains. Continue along and finish this first row. I will meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the first row. I have a total of 19 half double crochets. Now for row two, I'm going to chain two and turn. From here on for this part of the bib, we're going to count the two chains as a stitch. Now into the first half double crochet right here, I'm going to make a double crochet. We're going to be increasing at the beginning and at the end. At the beginning, the two chains, like I said, counts as one stitch. So here at the beginning, I have two. Into the next half double crochet, make a double crochet, and into the next, a double crochet, and continue up to the last half double crochet. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to increase at the end of the row. I'm here at the end of the second row. Now here at the end, into this last half double crochet, I'm going to make two double crochets. And here's the increase at the end of the row. At the end of this second row, I have a total of 21 double crochets, including the two chains here at the beginning. Now for row three, we're going to chain two and turn. Now beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. Now into the second double crochet, counting from the beginning, make a front post double crochet, back post double crochet into the next, front post double crochet into the next, and back post double crochet into the next. This is how we're going to continue for this third row. We're just going to alternate between front posts and back post double crochets. You're going to do this up to the last stitch. In this case, it's the chains. So I will meet you right here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. Here at the end, I have the last 
stitch which are the two chains so into the second chain here at the end I'm going to make two double crochets and here's the increase at the end of the row now at the end of this third row you should have a total of 23 stitches we have the two here at the beginning we have the two chains and the double crochet so that's two four six eight ten twelve 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23. Now, from here on, these are the two rows that we're going to repeat. The row of double crochets with increases at the beginning and at the end, and the row of front post and back post double crochets with increases at the beginning and at the end. So here I'm going to show you again, row four, we're going to chain two and turn. Row four, I need to do the row of double crochets. So beginning on top of the first stitch here, I'm going to make a double crochet. So here's the increase because the two chains counts. I have the first two stitches here, which is the increase. Now on top of each one of the stitches that follow, I'm going to make a double crochet up to the last stitch. So continue, finish the fourth row. I will meet you here at the end to show you once again how to increase at the end of the row, and then I'll show you row five. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. In this row, I did double crochets. Now here at the end, remember, we have the last stitch. These are the two chains here. So into the second chain, to finish the row, we always make two double crochets. And this is how I finished the fourth row with a total of 25 double crochets. Now, from here on, like I said, we're going to repeat these two rows, the row of double crochet and the row of front post and back post double crochets. And you always start by making two stitches at the beginning and two stitches at the end. And we always increase by two stitches at the end of each row. So at the end of this row, like I said, I have 25 double crochets. Now for row five, I'm going to start you off because from here on, you're going to continue on your own and repeat these two rows. So you you chain two and turn and beginning on top of the first stitch make a double crochet now into the second stitch counting from the beginning you're going to start with a front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet front post double crochet into the next and so on and that's how you're going to continue just repeat these two rows remember the important thing is that whenever you do the row of front post or the row of double crochets, you always begin by chaining two, and then on top of the first stitch, you make the first stitch, and then you end with two stitches at the end as well. Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here, but continue watching. I will let you know how many rows I'm going to do. I think I'll do about 10 rows here. It all, it all depends on the measurement that I get here, and I will also give you a stitch count after row four. So I will meet you at the end of that row. I'm here at the end of the eighth row. I have done a total of four rows after we left off. The last row that we did together was row four, and then we did row five. Row five at the end of that row, you should have had 27 front post and back post double crochets. And then for row six, you should have had 29 double crochets. For row seven, you should have had 31 front post and back post double crochets and then here at the end of the eighth row I have a total of 33 double crochets now for row nine we're going to um, make this a little bit different instead of making two double crochets at the beginning of the row we're going to make three so let me show you I'm going to chain two and turn remember the two chains counts as a stitch so beginning on top of the first stitch here I'm going to make two double crochets And that's how it looks so we have the two chains and then two double crochets all into this first stitch right there now into the next i'm going to begin by making a front post double crochet which is the second double crochet here and then into the next a back post double crochet front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet into the next and so on this is how we're going to continue for this ninth row. We're just going to alternate between front post and back post double crochets. Continue, I will meet you here at the end. 
here on top of the second chain, we're going to do the same thing we did here at the beginning. We're going to end with three double crochets into this last stitch. I'll meet you at the end of this ninth row. I'm here at the end of this ninth row. Now to finish this row, we have the last stitch, which are the two chains into the second chain here at the end, make three double crochets. There. Now at the end of this ninth row, you should have a total of 37 stitches. Now for row 10, we're going to chain two and turn. Now beginning on top of the first double crochet, make two double crochets. So here I have three double crochets, including the two chains at the beginning. Now in this row, I have to make double crochets. So all I'm going to do is just one double crochet for each one of these stitches from the previous row. And at the end of this row, I'm going to make sure to finish with three double crochets here at the end into that second chain. Continue, I'll meet you at the end of this 10th row. I'm here at the end of the 10th row. Now here at the end, I have the last stitch, which are the two chains into the second chain here at the end, make three double crochets. That's two and three. Now at the end of this 10th row, you should have a total of 41 double crochets. Now we're going to make one more row. So for row 11, we're going to chain two and turn. Beginning on top of the first double crochet here, make two double crochets. There, including the two chains, I have three double crochets here at the beginning. Now into the next double crochet, which is the second double crochet here, make a front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet, front post double crochet into the next, back post double crochet into the next, and so on. This is how we're going to continue for this 11th row. I finished row 11. In this row, we did front post and back post double crochets into the last stitch, which are the two chains. In the second chain, I finished by making these last three double crochets. So at the end of this 11th row, you should have a total of 45 stitches. Now, this last row that we did, row 11, was worked on the wrong side. From now on, this is going to be the right side. That's why I have a stitch marker here to mark the front. So you can easily tell that the front has this line here that was made when we did the first row of half double crochets. So row one was worked on the wrong side. So here, what we're going to do next is we're going to make a second piece exactly in the same way how we did this. Remember that we did a total of 21 chains and starting from the third chain from the hook, we did our first half double crochet so that at the end of the first row, we had 19 half double crochets. And then from row two up to row eight, we just alternated between front post and back post double crochets um, and we did two double crochets at the beginning and two double crochets at the end well um, the two chains counts as a stitch and then we did that for a total of eight rows and then from row nine up to row 11 instead of making two we did three I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to come back and show you how we're going to join both pieces together so go ahead and make a second piece exactly in the same way how we did this here up to row 11 11, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished making the second piece here. This is going to be the back side. I did a total of 11 rows and at the end of the 11th row, I have a total of 45 stitches. Now, this part here is measuring right across. It's measuring about 19 centimeters, which is about 7.5 inches. Now the length from top to bottom, it's measuring about 10 centimeters, which is about four inches. Now what we're going to do is we're going to join the back with the front. So here, make sure you have a stitch marker to mark the front and this stitch marker is marking the back side. Now from here on, we're going to start right here in the middle of the back side. So make sure to put a stitch marker. What I did here is because we had 45 stitches, I'm marking the stitch number 23. So I have 22 on this side and 22 on this side. And so the center stitch here is the 23rd stitch. So make sure you put a stitch marker. 
make sure that you have these pieces exactly how I have them. This here with the orange stitch marker is going to be the front. This here with the light blue stitch marker is going to be the back side. So make sure that you put these two together like this. And we're going to hold off on this piece. We're going to start right here. This piece here with the top of the little overalls facing down we're going to go here to this center stitch and right into this stitch where I have the stitch marker remember this is stitch number 23 we're going to grab a loop here bring it through and chain one and right into this same stitch here make a single crochet now I'm going to work one single crochet up to the last stitch here so I should have 20 23 that's one Two. There I have twenty two now here at the end these are the two chains into the second chain i'm going to make my last stitch so now i have 23 stitches for this side now to join with the front side i'm going to chain two here i'm only going to add two chains but if you want to add more chains to add to the chest measurement you can there is no stitch multiple so you can add as many as you want now to join to the front side this here is the front so we're going to go here to the end of the 11th row for this side this is where i cut my yarn at the end of that last row so here insert your hook and make a single crochet now continue and make one single crochet here for the front side until you come to the end i will meet you right here to show you how we're going to join to the back side i finished making these 45 single crochets for the front side now to join we're going to chain two and we're going to go into the first double crochet here for this piece here for the back side and right on top of the last stitch at the end of row 11 for the back side I'm going to make a single crochet so now we're joined and now to finish you're just going to continue and make one single crochet until we finish this first row so continue I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this first row now to finish Go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finished this first row now at the end of this first row i have a total of 94 stitches we have 45 stitches for the back side and 45 stitches for the front and then under each sleeve i have two stitches so that's a total of 94 stitches at the end of this row now to continue with row two I'm going to chain one. This chain will never count as a stitch. Now in this second row, we're going to begin the stitch pattern that I'm going to use to make these little overalls. And the stitch pattern is a variation of the hair and bone stitch, which is the same stitch that I used to make this little cardigan that I already showed you in my channel. This is a zero to three months, but you can make it smaller or bigger. Down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave you the link to this tutorial. So here, I chained one now I'm going to yarn over and insert the hook back into this same single crochet which is the first one I'm going to grab a loop and take one loop off the hook grab a loop and take one loop off grab a loop and take two loops off this is the herringbone stitch again yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch take one loop off grab a loop take one loop off grab a loop two loops off Again, yarn over and into the next, grab a loop, take one loop off, take one loop off, take two loops off. And this is how we're going to work this stitch. It's very easy. And this is just a one row repeat pattern. So we're going to be making these herringbone stitches over and over for the rest of the body of the little overalls. So here, continue. When you come here to the chains that we have under the sleeves, you're just going to make one herringbone stitch for each chain and then continue for the front side. Under the second sleeve, you're going to do the same thing. One herringbone stitch for each 
chain and continue and finish the back side. At the end of this second row, we're going to have 94 stitches. So continue, finish the second row, and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row, which is the first row here for the pattern that we're doing, which is the herringbone stitch. I have a total of 94 stitches. From here on, we're always going to have 94 stitches. To finish, you're going to go on top of the first stitch, not the chains, but on top of the first stitch, and join with a slip stitch. Now for row three, I'm going to chain one and yarn over. And beginning into the same stitch that we joined into, which is the first stitch, I'm going to grab a loop, take one loop off, grab a loop and take one loop off, grab a loop and take two loops off. And then repeat the same thing for the next stitch and so on. Here at the end of this third row, we're going to also have 94 stitches. Continue, finish this third row. I will meet you at the end to once again show you how to finish each row and how to start each row from here on since you're going to continue on your own and finish the rest of the body. I'm here at the end of this third row. Now to finish each row from here on, you're just going to go on top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. Now to begin each row, you're going to always chain one and yarn over on top of the first stitch, which is the same stitch that you joined into. You're going to grab a loop, take one loop off, grab a loop and take one loop off, grab a loop and take two loops off. And then repeat the same thing. So this is how you're going to continue for the rest here of the body of the little overalls. And that's how you're going to continue for the rest of this row. To finish, you're going to go on top of the first stitch, join with a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same thing over and over. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here for the body, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. I'm almost done with this part. I have done a total of 20 rows, including the first row here of single crochets. Now, as it is, let's see let me measure this for you it's measuring about from the first row here up to the last row it's measuring about 16 and a half centimeters which is about six and a half inches now what i'm going to do next is the bottom of the little dress and here i'm going to change yarn color so to start here this will be row 21 i'm going to use this pink yarn i'm going to grab a loop pull it through and chain one and turn we're going to change the pattern a little bit. So to begin here, I chained one and I turned. So now I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go into this first stitch right here. You can see that space there, insert your hook there and take one loop off, take one loop off, take two loops off. Here we're going to be working the same stitch. The only thing is that we're going to work this row from the wrong side. So this is how I'm going to continue here for the hem or um, the bottom part of the little overalls. So continue, finish this row, I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of row 21. This row was worked from the wrong side and I have changed yarn color. Now I forgot to tell you not to cut your yarn because what we're going to do next is we're going to change back to the white yarn. What we're going to do here is we're going to bring the pink yarn like this on the inside and we're going to bring the white yarn over the pink and we're going to join to the first stitch grab a loop with the white and make a slip stitch now pull the yarn here the pink yarn and that stitch is going to close so that now we can continue with the white and as you can see here in the front where you're going to see the joining um, it looks nice it's got a nice finish so that's what we want so here chain one and beginning on top of this first stitch I'm going to make the first herringbone stitch here for this row and then on top of each one I'm just going to continue and do one stitch these last three rows are going to be worked from the wrong side now continue like this all around I'll meet you at the end of row 22 I'm here at the end of row 22 to finish I'm going to bring the white yarn here and I'm going to bring the pink yarn over the white and put it here in the back. And with the pink now I'm going to join to the first stitch and grab a loop 
and finish row 22. Now pull the white yarn here so that stitch there closes. And now with the pink yarn, chain one, and we're going to repeat the same thing. I'm going to make my first herringbone stitch here into the first stitch that we joined into, and then work one herringbone stitch on each one of these stitches. At the end of each one of these three rows that I have done, I have the same number of stitches as I did here for the body, for the dress, 94 stitches. So continue like this, finish row 23. I'll meet you at the end. I finished row 23. Now here at the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and pass my yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done. And this is how the back side looks. Now, if you want to make the skirt shorter or longer, that's fine. You can adjust it however way you want. You can make it longer or shorter. And if you want to make these last three rows in the same direction as I did for the skirt, it's fine. Um, that would be up to you as well. I like how this looks here. Um, it gives it a nicer finish and the texture is a bit different. So that's how it looks here in the front. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to go around the sleeves and we're going to make half double crochets all around. So to do this, this here is the back side. So we're going to go here to the left side. And with the pink yarn, I'm going to start here at the top of this row of half double crochets. I'm just going to insert my hook. This is the first chain, so right there. And I'm going to grab a loop here with the pink yarn bring it through and chain one now this row is going to be worked on the right side and i'm going to be making half double crochets along the very edge as you can see we have either two chains or we have um, a double crochet at the end so that's where we're going to be making these um, stitches so to begin here we have the first row of half double crochets so here i'm going to make one half double crochet actually i'm going to make two make two half double crochets here and into the next row make one two into the next then one two at the end of the next row and then one Make sure to make these half double crochets nice and loose. And then two at the end of the next row. One. And then two. One. And then two at the end of the next row. Let's see how many stitches I have. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. I'm actually going to do two here at the end so that I have 19 half double crochets for this side. When you do this other side, I'm going to make sure to have 19 stitches. Now for the stitches in the middle here under the sleeves, I'm going to make two so i'm going to go into this space and make one and into the next space and make one so now i have 21 stitches so far 19 then two that's 21 and now i'm going to continue along the front side here of the bib and i'm going to do the same thing i did here i'm going to make sure to have 19 half double crochets so to begin here this is the row of single crochets make two and then uh, we did two into the next row and now we do one and then two one two One, two, one, two, one, 
and actually here at the end I'm going to do two because this is a longer stitch and then one here this is the row of half double crochets the important thing here is that you have 19 it doesn't matter how you make your 19 stitches or where you insert your hook just make sure you have 19 so let's count here we have two four six eight ten 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. Perfect. Plus the two stitches here. So we have 19, 19 plus two. That's 40 stitches for this first row of the um, sleeves here. So now I'm going to chain one and turn. This row is going to be worked on the wrong side and it's row two. So beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make a half double crochet. And now you're going to go and make a front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet into the next, back post half double crochet into the next. Now, if you have a hard time making front post and back post um, stitches, just make one more row of half double crochets right on top of each other, um, and that should be fine as well. It's going to look a little different, but it should also look nice. So here I'm just going to continue and work one front post and one back post half double crochet until I reach here the top. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of the second row. Now to finish here on top of the last stitch, I did a half double crochet and I have a total of 40 stitches for the second row. Now we're going to continue along the front here of the back side and this is going to be worked on the wrong side just like we did for the second row here for the sleeve. Now to begin here, chain one and right into this last stitch, make a half double crochet and into the next row here, make a half double crochet so i have two because we did two rows of half double crochets now i have the first half double crochet for the front part so here i'm going to make a front post half double crochet then back post half double crochet front post half double crochet into the next and so on Let's see, I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 stitches for the center part of the back side. And now we're going to continue along the second sleeve along the very edge and do the same thing we did here. So to do this, I'm going to chain one and here at the end I have the last half double crochet that I did here. Make a half double crochet into the next row, make one. So that's two so far and now I'm going to go and do two, then one. Now this part here, the important thing is that you have the same number of stitches as you did the first row for the first sleeve so there's no right or wrong way of inserting your hook you just have to count your stitches it's okay if you have one one or two two the important thing is that you have the same number of stitches as you did here for the first sleeve so let's count here i have oh, i still need to go let's see I still need to finish this here. I thought I had finished. Let's see, I'm going to do two here at the end, but I may need to adjust, so let's see. Um, here's the first one, that's one, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, perfect. So I have 19 stitches here, and now I'm just going to go here to the center under the sleeve and do one because I did one here and then I did one here, so make two. And now I'm going to continue this way up and do 19 half double crochets and that's how I'm going to finish the first row here for the second sleeve. So I will meet you up here. I'm here at the end of this first row for the second sleeve. I have a total of 40 half double crochets. I have 19 along this side, then I have two here in the center 
under the sleeve and then I did 19 here for the other side so I have 40 stitches now for the second row I'm going to chain one and turn now here I'm going to begin by making a half double crochet on top of this first stitch now into the next make a front post half double crochet back post half double crochet into the next and so on here for this row we're just going to alternate between front post and back post half double crochets and this row is being worked on the right side now continue i will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of the second row for this second sleeve now what we're going to do next here is we're going to make the straps i'm going to start here from the back side so to do this i'm going to chain one here's the last half double crochet that i did and i did this on top of the last stitch i'm going to go into this space here and make a half double crochet now into the next this is the first row that we did for this second sleeve make a half double crochet now here i'm going to go into the next stitch and make a half double crochet half double crochet into the next that's four and a half double crochet into the next here i have one two three four five i'm not going to make this too wide so i'm just going to do five stitches here now for the second row chain one and turn beginning on top of the first stitch make a half double crochet now we have the next three stitches i'm going to work a back post half double crochet into the next a front post half double crochet into the next a back post half double crochet into the next and into the last stitch here right on top make a half double crochet so here are the five stitches now again we're going to repeat the same thing until this part here measures about 15 centimeters 15 16 centimeters which is about six six and a half inches now chain one and turn beginning always on top of the first stitch make a half double crochet and then work these stitches exactly how they are i have a front post a back post a front post so make a front post half double crochet then a back post half double crochet front post half double crochet and on top of the last stitch a half double crochet again chain one and turn and repeat the same thing a half double crochet on top of the first stitch a back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet back post half double crochet and a half double crochet on top and that's how we're going to continue until this part here measures about 15 or 16 centimeters like i said continue watching i will let you know how many rows that's going to be here you can make this as long as you want or as short as you want i think the the longer that you make it um, the baby's going to get to wear a bit um, longer here i'm going to add a button once this part here is done so i'll meet you at the end of that row I'm almost done making the first strap. I have done a total of 21 rows. Now, as it is, it's measuring about 14 centimeters, which is about, let's see, it's about five and a half inches. Now I'm going to make one more row here and I'm going to make a fan here at the end. So to do this, this is going to be row 22 and it's going to be worked on the wrong side. So here, to make this last row, this is what I'm going to do. Actually, I'm not going to chain here. I'm just going to turn and I'm going to go right here right in the middle right next to this front post half double crochet so right here I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to insert my hook here and I'm going to make a total of nine half double crochets so that's one nine i have nine half double crochets now just go here to the end in the chain space right here between the half double crochet and the chain here make a slip stitch cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop and this part here is done and this is how it looks now 
once we're done with the dress, I'm going to attach a button here and I'm going to use this hole as my buttonhole, but you can use any of these spaces that's in the middle here as buttonholes right here. You can easily fit um, 10, 11, or even 12 millimeter size buttons. Um, towards the end of the video, when I give you the final measurements, I'll give you the size of buttons that I'm going to use for my little dress. So this part here is done. So now we're going to do the same thing here for this other side. Um, and remember, you can make this part here longer. Um, that way, this part here is longer and you can adjust it on your baby. So um, that would be up to you. So now we're going to go here to this side and same thing. I'm going to count five stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I'm counting the spaces. So right there, I'm going to grab a loop here bring it through, chain one, and make a half double crochet here. This here is the back side, and so I'm doing the left side. So here I'm just going to make these five half double crochets with the last one. I'm going to go here at the end and make the last half double crochet. So here I have five half double crochets. Now chain one and turn, and here we're going to do the same thing we did with the first strap. On top of the first stitch, make a half double crochet, and then start with a back post, half double crochet, front post, half double crochet, back post, half double crochet, and then a half double crochet here at the end chain one, turn, and then repeat the same thing. This part here is exactly how we did the first strap. You're going to make a total of 21 rows, and then for row 22, you're going to do this little fan here that we did. And that's how we're going to make the straps. Remember, you can adjust the, the length of the strap. You can make it shorter, longer, however way you see fit. So continue, finish the second strap, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished making the second strap. I did it exactly in the same way how I did the first one. So this part here is done. All we need to do here is attach a button and it's all done. You can leave it like this. These little overalls are done. Now I am going to make one more row. It's optional. This is more of a decorative row than anything. So this is how I'm going to do it here. Um, I'm going to be using this three millimeter hook and this uh, DK weight yarn. It's by the same brand. It's um, Alizé. So here we're going to start, this is the front, so we're going to go here to the left side and right on top of this last stitch right there, insert your hook and grab a loop. Now, chain three, one, two, three. Now here I'm going to skip two stitches, so counting the first one, one, two, and in this space I'm going to make a slip stitch. Again, chain three, skip two stitches, and into the next space, make a slip stitch. Chain three, skip two stitches, and in the next space, right here, make a slip stitch. Don't go on top of the stitch, go in between the stitches, so into the space. I think it looks better um, this way. Again, chain three, skip two stitches, then make a slip stitch, chain three, skip two, and into the next space, make a slip stitch. And this is how we're going to continue all around. And as you can see, it creates a nicer finish here, so I'm going to do this until I come here to the top, and then I'll do the same thing here for this strap. I'll meet you right here to show you how we're going to work this pattern here along the side of the straps. I'm almost done with this part. I have a total of 19 of these chain three spaces. Now to work the strap, this is what we're going to do. We're going to chain three. I'm going to skip this space and into the side here of the next row. This is actually the first row of half double crochets that we did into that chain space. I'm going to make a slip stitch. Now chain three, skip this half double crochet and into the next chain space here, 
make a slip stitch chain three skip this half double crochet and in the chain space make a slip stitch and this is how we're going to work the straps here along the side so i'm going to continue until i come to the fan that we did right in the center and i'm going to show you what we need to do there Okay, so here we have, I had 19 here, so now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, chain 3 spaces along the side of the first strap. Now we have the fan here. Here I'm going to chain 3 and I'm going to go into this chain right there along the side, make a slip stitch, chain three and i'm going to go on top of the stitches here skip one and into the next make a slip stitch chain three skip one and into the next a slip stitch chain three skip one and into the next a slip stitch skip one and into the next a slip stitch one two three now i want this side to be like this side so i'm just going to go right here and make a slip stitch chain three and go here to the side and make a slip stitch chain three skip this stitch and into the chain space here along the side make a slip stitch chain three skip this stitch and into the next make a slip stitch so here you're going to be making the slip stitches into the chain that we did when we finished the row then chain one and then turn as we did the straps um, and i think that looks pretty good i'm going to continue that way and then once you get here you're just going to um, do the same thing we did here where we have the same stitches you're going to skip two stitches then a slip stitch so that you end up right here in the corner you may need to adjust a stitch or two the important thing is that this part here looks nice just like this other side so you're just going to continue along and finish this other sleeve i will meet you right here at this end to show you how we're going to finish the front and then finish the little dress i finished this row of three chains and slip stitches that we did all around now here for the front this is what i did here is my slip stitch that's part of the sleeve then i did three chains and then i skipped this stitch and went into this stitch right here that's between the first and the second on this side then i did a slip stitch three chains skip two stitches slip stitch three chains skip two stitches slip stitch three chains skip two stitches all the way to this other end and here is the last slip stitch for the front part and then i did three chains skip this part and then i just joined here to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and then i just passed my yarn through this last loop now all i have to do is just hide my ends and this part here is done and this is how it looks now again this is optional there is no right or wrong way of doing this for the most part i have skipped two stitches three chains one slip stitch all around and that's what i try to do here all around so this part here is done and that's how it looks now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to do the same thing here for the bottom so we're going to go here to the back side and we're going to go right into this stitch right here so grab a loop here chain three now for this part we're going to skip one stitch and into the next make a slip stitch chain three skip one stitch and into the next make a slip stitch again skip one and into the next make a slip stitch this is how i'm going to continue all around so finish this part and then i'll come back and show you the finished baby dress
I finished making this last row for the bottom of the dress where we did three chains with slip stitches. Now here to finish, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. And then I just hid all my ends. And this part here is done along with the little dress. It's all done and this is how it looks. Now I'm going to show you how I did these strawberries. They're very easy to make. I already have a tutorial on how I do this, but I'll show you here in this tutorial as well. And then here I just did a little bow. I just went on YouTube and searched how to make bows with your fingers. And that's what I did so you could do the same thing. So here to make the strawberries, you're going to need red and green or whatever color you want to make them with. I'm going to start with the green here and I'm going to be using the 3.5 millimeter hook. This is DK weight yarn, by the way. So here to begin, we're going to make a magic circle. I'm going to grab my yarn like this, making sure to leave a nice long tail here so that we can sew the strawberry onto the dress after we're done. So make sure you leave a nice long tail. Now wrap the yarn around both fingers, hold the yarn right there where it joins, insert the hook through this circle and grab a loop. This here is the magic circle. Now. I'm going to yarn over a total of 12 times. So here to begin, I'm going to yarn over once and grab a loop. Yarn over, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, there. Now, if you count all of these loops, there should be 25. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to divide all of these loops into five sections. There is no right or wrong way of doing this. The important thing is that you have five sections. This is going to be the top of the strawberry. So to begin here, grab a loop and remove some yarn overs to create the first group. Grab a loop again. Here's the second group. Grab a loop again. Here's the third group. Grab a loop again. Here's the fourth group. Grab a loop again. And here's the fifth group. There, we have a total of five sections. One, two, three, four, five. This here is for the top of the strawberry. So there's five sections. Now I'm going to yarn over again and close the last group and I'm going to cut my yarn. To make these strawberries, you don't need too much yarn. So now pass your yarn through this last loop. Now with the red yarn, we're going to go on top of the first group right here insert your hook through this stitch right there make sure you leave a little tail here so that we can easily hide these ends once it's done now i'm going to yarn over a total of three times and i'm going to go in between these two groups so insert your hook that's one yarn over that's two yarn over and that's three now, in between the next two, I'm going to repeat the same thing. So yarn over, that's one. Yarn over, that's two. Yarn over, that's three. Now I'm going to do the same thing between the next two. So yarn over, that's one. Yarn over, that's two. Yarn over, that's three. Again, repeat the same thing between the last two. Yarn over, one yarn over two yarn over three there i have four groups one two three four now close the first group close the second group close the third group and close the fourth group now for the first row here in red i have four groups one two three four now for the second row pull this loop here and yarn over now go between the first two groups 
and yarn over three times. That's one, two, three. Again, yarn over and go between the next two groups. One, two, three. Yarn over and go between the last two groups. One, two, three. I have three groups here. Now close the first group, close the second group, and close the third group. Here's the second row. Now for row three, same thing. Pull this stitch here and yarn over once and go between the first two groups. That's one, two, three. Yarn over again and go between the last two groups. One, two, three. I have two groups. Close the first group, close the second group. Now we're going to do the bottom here, the last row. Pull this loop here and yarn over. That's one, two, three. Now close, chain one. And what I'm going to do here so that this side is like this here where we have these um, chains along the very edge, I'm going to make slip stitches into each row here. So we're going to go back into the fourth row and go here to the side. There's that stitch there that was left when we closed the first stitch here, the first group, and make a slip stitch. Again, go up into the next row, make a slip stitch. Make sure that these slip stitches are nice and loose and go into the next row make a slip stitch and go into the last row the row in green and make a slip stitch so here i have one two three four slip stitches along this side here now we're going to cut our yarn leave a little tail here and just pass your yarn through this last loop so the strawberry is done the first thing that i do is i want to close the magic circle and all you do is just pull the yarn like this and that's going to close that circle now we're going to hide all of our ends i'm going to start with this tail end here in red with a yarn needle here and all you do here is just hide your ends so just go down through the middle of these bean stitches or puff stitches and just come out the other end Let's see, that looks fine. Now I'm going to cut my yarn here. There's that. I'm going to hide this other tail end here. Just go down the middle. Cut the end. Now for the green. Tug on the yarn a little bit so that when you cut it, it just hides on the inside there. Now we're going to attach the strawberry. I'm going to do it up here. You can do it anywhere, but this is how we're going to do it. Go through the middle and through the dress. Now go to this corner on the left side, right there, and make tiny little stitches here. Now, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. This is how I do it. The important thing is that it's secured through the dress and it doesn't come off. And now with the same green, I'm just going to go in between the red here.
make sure that you do this with tiny tiny stitches here so that it doesn't come through on the other side well the green Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now all you do is just hide your ends here on the inside and this part here is done. Now they do kind of look like tomatoes now, but you can put little dots here so that they look like strawberries. So that they look like these that I did. See, like these. I have a couple that I already did here. So now all you have to do is just make the little bow and attach it wherever you want and that's it the little dress is all done this is my strawberry um, overall dress for little girls now let me give you the finished measurements now the total length from the top here of the strap to the bottom it's measuring about 35.5 centimeters which is about 14 inches from the top of the strap down to right about here where we did the row of single crochets it's measuring about 16 centimeters which is about 6.35 inches and the chest just the top it's measuring about 23.5 centimeters which is about 9.25 inches so based on these measurements this little strawberry overall dress is for little girls between six and nine months you can certainly make it smaller or bigger down here in the information box i'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out now before i forget these buttons are 14 millimeter size you can also use 12 and 13 millimeter size buttons so this cute little overall strawberry dress it's all done it's absolutely beautiful i hope you like it now as always if you prefer in pattern check out my etsy shop i'll leave the link to my etsy shop in the information box or up here on the right hand side now in my channel i already have lots of um, baby hats and bonnets and diaper covers that you can make to match the little dress i'll go ahead and leave the link down here in the information box okay so this was today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time